There aren't a lot of materials that you can tie a whole fly with just that material. In this video, we're going to look at two of those. American Tide Flies Carnivore Dub and Magnum Dubbing. And we're going to tie these flies in the video too, so yeah. Not feeling super good today. Could have done without that. So this video, we're giving you a twofer. <laughs> but first, we're gonna talk about Magnum dubbing. When I think of Aaron Latera's dubbing, I immediately think of Magnum dubbing. Just immediately. It's the one that I've had the most time messing with, and I mean, it's just, everybody knows this product is solid, great product. So first of all, this comes in dozens of colors. And when I'm talking dozens, like, I'm talking a bunch of different colors. Way more than what I've got here. But, I'm gonna show you what I got anyway. Copper, rainbow smelt, fat cat brown. I don't know the brown, but he's got the coolest names. So just bear with me. Nightmare Before Christmas, Canadian Tuxedo, Unicorn Fuzz, Emerald Shiner, Dirty Olive, Homeless Care Bear, <laughs> Streeper, Mackerelback, Leatherback Turtle. This is actually more green than what it's showing up on camera. I really like that color. Nightmare Clown, and, and my favorite name. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> so the Magnum dubbing is roughly four to four and a half inches long. When you pull all these fibers out and get them, get them all together, this is about how long it is. I mean, pretty long stuff. So I don't know for a fact, but I think this is just two materials. Uh, the color of whatever it is and the, the flash that's mixed in with it. The main thing that I've noticed about this is the consistency. Like you're not gonna have the recycled beer color have a totally different feel or length or, or anything like that than say dirty olive. All of these all of these colors are the same. Uh, they're the same length. They are so so consistent. And I really, really like that. So out of the two dubbings we're gonna talk about today, Magnum dubbing is the softer of the two. So it has a lot of bounce to it. I, I can't I can't explain it any other way than it's got bounce. It, it, it likes to it likes to fill voids. It, it does a really really good job of of building a head around eyes like this. You'll see me tie in just a second. But it's also just got a lot going on in it. Most of these colors don't have just a single color to them. They are a blend of, a, of several different colors. This is Homeless Care Bear. <laughs> and I mean, it's got like some olive in it. It's got some rust color in it. It looks like it's got some like chartreuse in it. Um, and along with the flash, it's long, but if you don't need it to be this long, you can just tear it and blend it back together then it's shorter and you still have a taper on both sides. You can do this and make it as short as you want to. You can make it, you can keep it the four, four and a half inches, however you want to do it. But you do have that ability to make it shorter, to work with it on littler flies if that's what you want to do. Let's jump over to the vise and tie this head. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in the vise we have a, a, a Sex Dungeon-esque type of fly. Um, nothing overly special, but a really cool colorway. We've got, like, we've got a lot going on here. I love olive and chartreuse mixed so much. So much. Another cool thing you can do with Magnum Dub is to build heads around eyes. Normally what you'd be doing is spinning a deer hair head around this or a wool head or, or something like that. But we're going to use Magnum Dub. The top's going to be Homeless Care Bear. <laughs> 
and the bottom is the bluegill de Morris. So I'm gonna take this stuff in its full length and start tearing it. Okay, it does not have to be perfect because we're gonna trim it after we're done. I'm gonna do the same thing with the lighter color. So we're gonna start on the underneath side, a bit of glob right behind the eyes. Do the same thing on top with the homeless Care Bear color. But what you need to do is, is help this kind of go around the hook. So it covers as much of the hook wraps as you can possibly cover. Fold these back, work your thread in front of them, and continue the process. So now we have this nice thick head. We're gonna brush the fibers up that are on top of the hook. And the fibers that are on the bottom of the hook, we're gonna brush them down. Something like that. Now a good pair of razor scissors. Start on the bottom. We're gonna cut this at just a little bit of an angle, basically from the eye of the hook up to the hook point. It's kind of the angle you're looking for. and you end up with a really cool sex dungeon variant. So the next dubbing we're gonna talk about is carnivore dub. Carnivore dub is, believe it or not, not really close to magnum dubbing. Carnivore dub comes in at about five to five and a half inches long, give or take some. This is not an exact science. Although Aaron does mix them and everything with an exact science, but it's, it's me measuring. Just take it for what it's worth. For dub is is noticeably more coarse. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but and I don't know how a sound makes it seem more coarse. Anyway, I think it's got three different materials in it. It's got the flash. It's got the main more coarse material, and then I think it's got the same stuff as Magnum Dub in it. This stuff comes in a ton of different colors as well. I think it comes in 15 different colors, but I've got bluegill, cream, rojo especial, <laughs> burnt sienna, black peacock, a little throwback to you 80s and 90s kids, slimer, <laughs> garbage pickle, and my second favorite color name. <laughs> but what I've really noticed about this dubbing and, and what really kind of separates it from all other dubbings that are kind of like this, the consistency, I'm telling you, this stuff is more consistent than any of this kind of dubbing I've ever dealt with, period. When you go from Pimp's Heart to Slimer, it's the same dubbing, just different colors. So when it comes to the length and being able to use like the whole length of this material, you're, you're kind of thinking bigger flies or building a fly all out of this stuff. So we're going to jump back over to the vise and tie a great minnow imitation that is only made out of the carnivore dub and magnum dub. This is, I love this fly, love this fly. For this cool little bait fish, I've got just a, a 2x strong, 1x short, um, just a big game hook in the vise. I'm going to start off with that carnivore dub in bluegill color. Mark my words, every time you use material like this, you use too much. Trust me. So take what you think you need, cut it in half. Usually a good starting point. I'm going to pull these fibers apart and stack them just so they're all pretty much the same length. And I'm gonna go about 80-20. 80% long compared to 20% in front. Next, we're gonna go with the Magnum Dub and Recycled Beer color. <laughs> I really wanted to do this colorway just to say 
recycled beer. That, that, that's pretty much it. We're going 50-50 on the underside. We're gonna fold the yellow back first. For the top color, when we fold it back, we want it to kind of come down and around the sides of the hook. Just a little bit, not all the way around. We just want to kind of envelop the bottom color just a little bit. Same thing, starting on bottom. See it taking shape already. At this point, we're gonna start to split our material. So you can just pull this stuff apart, just kind of tear it. Brush it out just a little bit. For the last top and bottom stack, we're actually gonna reverse tie this. This is gonna help us create shoulders. I'll show you. So you wanna tear this to where it's roughly a third of the length that it comes out of the package, something like that. We're gonna fold it over on itself and we're gonna cut the fold mark flat. So we have this. Put this stack right here and bind it down right behind the eye of the hook. Same thing on top. So now we have these shoulders on top and on bottom that are gonna, when we reverse tie this, it's gonna help prop it up and hold it up. So we're gonna pull these fibers back and bind them down right behind the eye of the hook. And we're finished. Brush this out a little bit with our trusty dog brush. So what we're gonna do is put a, a little orange throat on this. And we're gonna put black barring on the top. And you have a super fun bait fish that will literally catch fish anywhere from Bolivia to your local farm pond, everywhere. So as you can tell, I really, really like this stuff. It fills a need for something that's different and more consistent and longer. Um, it's a great, great product. I'll have a link to everything in the description of this video. Go check it out. He's got a load of other stuff too. So yeah, go check out Aaron's stuff. Great, great, great stuff. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the carnivore dub and magnum dubbing video. Now we're gonna give away the flies from the previous video. The random number generator picked Mark Lucas. Mark, get with me on Instagram or shoot me an email and I'll get a care package out to you. For your chance to win these flies, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on this video. And again, channel members get that many more entries every single time we do a video. Just throwing that out there. And I'll have the random comment generator number thing, pick a random number, send you stuff. Yep, that's what I do.